Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about the KitOps 1.15.3 update. Prior to this, I renamed my 2.82 folder in order to load Blender up cleanly. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick and set things up cleanly and from scratch. So we'll set things up to start off with left click, search, and we'll go under our preferences. And I have this downloaded to my tools directory, so we'll just install KitOps. And there it is. We'll go ahead and enable it. So the first thing we'll need to look at here are the new preferences that are now associated with sort V3 from box cutter. So now if you are working in a non-destructive workflow and you're wanting to insert and not disrupt uh, prior areas in the pipeline, that is now possible. We look over at file paths, we can see that there's already a master directory here, which should have some inserts. However, if you're watching this video, more than likely you are wanting to use the um, hard ops classic inserts. So one moment, let's grab that. One way to locate the inserts is from the documentation. If you click on the word classic inserts for kit ops, it'll actually bring you to the page where you can pick it up for zero. We'll just do that real quick and put in my email address and we'll just view the product download both of these and then we'll install those all right here we have the inserts that are downloaded and opened up here so we'll just actually make a folder on the hard drive and just call it inserts because i like to keep inserts and decals separate from my installation since they are updated periodically and frequently um, by doing so, it allows me to update decal machine, update kit ops, and then just plug my directories back into it, and everything will just work fine. So I'm just going to click on the header bar, copy this path. We'll just try putting in here and pressing enter. Since it filled in the name, we know it worked. So we'll just save those preferences. Also for this, I'll need to install hard ops just to kind of demonstrate what we're going for with the sort. So after it finishes loading all the... Um, files in we are able to enable it and we'll just save our prefs close this and i'm just going to shift h and we're just going to stack a couple of bevels real quick so here's our first bevel and then i'm just going to control shift click or actually uh control click to actually add it at 30 and we'll just set that one to 0.10 so we have two bevels here if we bring up our modifier panel you can see them uh, one's just not active because it's the one that we're going to use to affect our kit ops insert. So we'll just go to a subset and just go with our classic here. And it looks like there's an issue with that one. May need to check into that. All right, I apologize for that. I'll need to uh, go back and double check that particular insert. But with this one, we can actually see what we're going for here in action. So if we turn off cutter and wire, we can now see that we have our object. It's cut in here and we have two different bevel levels that we're able to interact with. The smaller bevel, of course, has to be small, but we can hold shift and scroll and jump to the next bevel and actually adjust this one as well. So, and this is all thanks to the latest sort. There's also been an update put out that should make sort sync with in fact, we can see in hops that we still haven't put out the update with the sort V3. However, box cutter and kit ops currently contain this new sorting system. So if we bring up kit ops, you can see that now instead of just being an arrow for last bevel, there's last sorting actually extends to all modifiers. So we're no longer sorting every modifier at once. Uh, now we can have a mirror earlier in the stack have a mirror also later in the stack and not affect the mirror that's previous in the stack because that one could possibly be crucial for the construction of the object so sorting things that are really early in the stack is just not a good idea we found so these latest updates are to make that easier and with that i'll wrap up this video and i'll see you guys next time 